What's up, everybody? Um, you know, this Trey Trey coming through with another video. Um, currently at my, you know, little quote unquote wage, wage slaving job, <laughs> as y'all would call it. Um, you know, I ended up got, I got a new job, little, 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 little nighttime job. I've been working here for like the past what two weeks it's pretty decent but um i ain't you know i haven't dropped the video in a little minute so i'm dropping drop one for y'all right quick um i think in this video right here i'm gonna talk about how people keep comparing me to like my sister you know um give y'all a little better have i gave y'all back so i think i have but yeah my mom only had two kids. My sister did me. I was the baby. My sister three years older than me. But um, ever since I was, you know, little, people would always compare me to my sister. You know, they kind of make it seem like she was an angel and I was the devil. <laughs> um, mainly, people in general, but mainly my mom was friends. They would, you know, make it seem like that. And um, I started, um, I think my mom just flat out can't stand me. I used to think it's because of I see, like growing up, I used to think that maybe, you know, she just hate me, you know, dislike me because of my dad. Um, now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to think maybe she just don't like me because she think I'm ugly as hell on the low. And she felt like I wasn't going to amount to nothing. You know, had a very low expectation of me. But, um, you know, growing up, Really, even to this day, even as full grown adults, but mom, she treats me way different than my sister. Um, I started side eyeing my mom, like relationship with me and my sister, but I was like twelve. I think when I got like twelve, I started really like noticing, you know, certain things. Um. You know, um, I remember, <laughs> I remember, um, you know, like she just would treat us. She just would treat us different. She would always put her hands on me, but won't put her hands on my sister. She would always beat me, you know, wouldn't beat her. She would raise her voice at me and she, I never really saw her raise her voice at my sister before, you know, um, You know, um, people just, I don't know. My mom's, my mom passed away. My mom passed away in February. For the people that don't know, she passed away in February. And when she passed, uh, she passed away and we had, we had guests at our house for the repass after the, you know, after the funeral. And I remember... They weren't talking about me when I was a baby. They they would talk about how I was like when I was like maybe like two or three years old, two or three years old. They started talking about how I was just like I used to always throw tantrums and I used to always cry and shit. But then when they get to my sister, like after they started saying what they said about me when I was a baby, right after that they said. They mentioned my sister and he was like, oh, she was an angel. You know, she was just the sweetest. You know, she didn't do it. She just sat there. She was just so quiet. They talked about her like he like she was just so precious, you know, like, she, you know, she was just so like she was just God's gift. You know, like I said, I, I was the baby, though. But yeah, they she always talked about they always talked about her like she was just some gift. Like she was just precious like she, you know. 
And then when they mentioned you, when you were like a baby, like, you know, you was just <laughs> some kind of devil. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know. I started looking at the relationship funny. But my mom and, you know, uh, <laughs> I started noticing, like I said, I started noticing when I was 12. Um, I think one of the worst incidents that ever happened to me when it comes to, like, my, me and my sisters is me and my sister, we used to, like, every once in a blue moon, we'll get into, like, a fight. Like, actually, like, fist fighting as kids. She stopped putting her hands on me when I got, like, 15, 14. I guess because around the time, that's around the time where, I guess where, I finished going through puberty and like you develop a little muscle and some testosterone and you, this particular time I started like winning the fight. So she just stopped. <laughs> she just stopped putting her hands on me. She ain't put her hands on me ever since. Um, But yeah, this one time when I was 12, my uncle was passing away. And I remember I got into like a fist fight with my sister because she kept like, I didn't like something she did. I think she kept messing with me or something. Or I don't know, whatever the case was. And I remember I used to always get beat up by her. Like whenever we fight, I would lose the fight. I was smaller than her at the time. And she had more weight on me at the time. So I would lose the fight. Well, this particular time, I was like 12 and she was like 16. And um, we started fighting, and she started putting her hands on me. So I grabbed her, pushed her in the corner, and was boxing her. And my mom grabbed me by the shirt and kind of slung me, slung me across the banister on the porch, and I fell on the ground, and my back hit the grass really, really hard. And um, she started putting a lot of bass in her voice, and she kept calling me nigga back to back. Hold on, this damn car coming. I'll be right back, y'all. Yeah, sorry about that. So, yeah, and after she slapped me on the ground really hard, my mama, she started, like, calling me all types of niggas, putting bass in her voice and everything. She kept she kept saying the word. I was, that's one thing I noticed about my mom. She always called me, she always referred to me as nigga when she's mad at me whenever I did, whenever she felt like, whenever she disliked something that I did or said, she referred to me as nigga to this day um yeah man it's, it's it's stuff like that you know like she didn't you know she she slammed me on the ground man and um it might be something that like it could be anything man like you know and i don't know man i just always felt like people you know i, I it's kind of hard it's hurtful to feel that you know that everybody treat me bad because of how i look but yeah, man, it was like that back then. Like, I remember me, and my mom, and I guess you could call him my stepfather, and my sister. We was all at Wild Wings years ago. I was like fourteen back then, and I can't think of what the conversation was. But I think my stepfather said something like, "Well, she's just more mature than you. Even when she was younger, she was always more mature than you." Mind you, I'm the youngest one, so of course she's going to be more mature than me. But I don't know if I'm going to make a part two on this or what, but, you know, it's just, it's just shit like that that I really don't, I don't really fuck with. Um, you know, I, I think that's just how I'm going to sum it all off. Like, 
people look people always looked at her like she was the angel and looked at me as if I was the devil. Um Yeah, man, it's it's just I don't think I've ever seen my mom really get mad at her like that, really. Unless it was something petty, but like mm. I just don't I think I just don't like when they start talking about me when I was a baby and they make it seem like I was just the worst. Like, oh, and, and they always bring up something bad. Oh, like I remember when you you knocked all of the stuff all of, all over the Christmas tree when you was like two and then then they go mention my sister after they start talk stop talking about me and they always say, Yeah, she she was an angel though. She was just so quiet, she was so pretty, and she just stayed there and all that shit. She just stayed there and she was just so innocent and like, you know, that's weird. You know? For the people that think I'm just over it. Okay, let me ask you this. How would you feel if I start saying it like when every time I say something about you with something bad, like, man, like you were just you were just so like you were just weird, you know. You was weird when you was little. You used to pick your buggers a lot and eat them. And, you know, like you used to do this, you used to do that. And, uh, I remember girls not liking you and you used to wear all type of funny little clothes. Now your brother though, your brother was handsome. Your brother used to always make me laugh. Your brother used to make me smile. I couldn't wait to see your brother every day. How would you feel if somebody said that to you? Talking about you and they start talking about your sibling like that. My mom, that's all I want to say though. I mean... Phone about to go dead. I'm at work. Got a few more hours to go. So I figured I'd just make this video. Um, I'm going to take this YouTube shit really serious soon. Got plans in the making. Anyways, though, love y'all. Uh, Be safe. Bye-bye.